Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I hope you guys enjoyed the pitching video I've made, despite its flaws. And I tried all that I could to uh, make it as satisfactory for you guys as possible. For this video, I'm going to introduce three themes, like, and two of them are closely affiliated with each other, and the next video I make are going to involve two characters that are also affiliated with those two, if that makes any sense. The first one I'm going to introduce is the one that isn't affiliated, but it's still something for you to consider, so I hope you enjoy. Squid Girl. Real name, Karen Oceans. Height, 5 feet 10 inches to 300 feet. Weight, 2,753 pounds to 22,000 tons. Status, hero and former nuclear chemist. Base, San Francisco, California. Mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior, flirtatious, cunning, and willful. She'll do anything to protect the innocents from danger and find the perfect love. Lethality. Extremely dangerous when thre threatened. Weaknesses. Explosions and lack of moisture. Powers. She has waist up the body of a woman and waist down the tentacles of an octopus. She has a high intellect, mass alteration, can camouflage herself when hiding, can change color via emotions, and can squirt acidic ink from both her eyes and from her farting. She also has a series of suction cups found on the front of her hands. Eyes green, hair blondish white. Origin. Karen Oceans was a nuclear chemist who wanted to be better at multitasking. She soon injected herself with octopus plasma and she permanently mutated into a human octopus hybrid. Shocked by her unintended transformation, Karen attempted to make an antidote but found that it was incurable and she decided to go for a walk in the city. While doing so, she found Carnotaur doing chaos near the Golden Gate Bridge, and Karen used her new powers to successfully defeat her. Eventually, she was marked as a hero and ended up on the global news. Nicknamed Squid Girl, Karen would, Karen would now do anything to help those in need, for that she is no longer worried about the inhuman creature that she had become. Costume. She wears a latex top that changes with her. Teams, solitary, or with other heroes, or inspiration, octopi. Here's the next thing, which is the two things that are close affiliated with each other, just so you know. Mega fairies. Real name, varied. Height, 10 to 15 feet. Weight, 864 pounds to 15 tons. Status, hero, in residence of the land of altered masses. Base, Land of Altered Masses, Indian Ocean. Intelligence, two and a half brains to four brains. Behavior, their personalities depend on the individual. Regardless, they would do anything to help and honor their master, Queen Titana. Lethality, somewhat deadly individually, but worse when in a large swarm. Weaknesses, they are intolerant to all iron objects. Powers. They have great size and strength, can fly at blazing speeds, and possess magical powers. They also have an awareness of all life. Eyes and hair varied. Origin. At one point, Goddess decided to create an island where everything is at its opposite size, though mainly involving fairies. When Cosmic got into an argument with Goddess about what creatures are meant to live within it, they decided to create two complete opposites as enemies. Goddess created the innocent and devoted mega fairies in their own territory, along with the Micronians in a territory called Micropolis. And Cosmic created the savage demon fairies and their territory, which was destined to forever war against the mega fairies. One time, the Micronians built a special wall to keep the demon fairies at bay, but was inevitably flawed and would only disable once a month. After a long quarrel between the two species, a grouping of Pym, Luck, and Centaura discovered the land and eventually helped the Mega Fairies. Since then, the Mega Fairies 
would always seem to know what other stuff lies beyond the in Indian Ocean. Costume. They wear the traditional fairy clothes. Team Solitary for Queen Titana or other heroes. Original inspiration, fairies. Here's the last one, just so you guys know. Demon fairies. Real name varied. Height, 10 to 15 feet. Weight, 864 pounds to 1.5 tons. Status, villain and residents of the land of altered masses. Base, land of altered masses, Indian Ocean. Intelligence, one brain to three brains. Behavior, bloodthirsty, savage and relentless. They'll do anything to serve and honor their feral master, Queen Demana. Lethality, as above. Weaknesses, they are intolerant to iron objects. Powers, they have the same powers as the Mega Fairies, along with an acute sense of smell and sharp claws and teeth. They also reproduce very quickly, making thousands in just months. Eyes, blood red. Hair, black and ratty. Origin, when the Land of Altered Masses was created, Cosmic created the ferocious counterpart of the Mega Fairies, which are known since as the Demon Fairies. Due to the barrier that protects Micropolis, they are so intolerant to starvation that until once a month they go through the act of cannibalism. However, when Pym, Luck, and Centaur traveled to the land on an exploration trip, they tried to eat them until they were ultimately defeated by both them and the Mega Fairies. Since then, the Demon Fairies and their ruler, Queen Demana, decided to see what other meats are available beyond their island. Costume. They only wear clothes made of dead tree bark. Team, solitary for Queen Demana and other villains. Original inspiration, feral fairies. Well, those are the three themes I'm going to introduce. I hope you guys enjoy. And here's a new theme that I'd like you guys to try, if you want. From all the videos that I have made as of so far, I would like to see if you could Make your own illustrations of the characters and creatures that I've revealed as of so far, and PM me on Facebook with personal messages, so that way I could be able to collect them and make sure to give you guys credit and such, in terms of your concept art and your perspectives of my characters and such. You don't have to do it. And it's not official, it's merely concept art, but I'll try all that I can to give you guys credit when the time is nigh. And thank you guys all in advance, because I'm trying to find new ways to make my stuff prodigious and easily noticed. So I hope you guys understand, you know? And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent Christmas when the time is nigh. And a good Happy New Year as well. I hope you guys enjoy your time, and until next time, in transmission.